We've winterized boats. Now it's ski season. Got some holes in these skis. Super simple thing. Anybody can learn how to do this to repair the holes in their skis. It's inexpensive and it's easy. So I'll teach you how to do it in less than 10 minutes. First thing you want to do to make your life easier is to take the brake off. So every ski brake has a little screw right here. So we're just going to take that and we're going to unscrew it off until it pops off. If I can get it off, this one's being a little stubborn. There it is. All right. Now we're going to flip it over. Now I'm running out of room on my bench. Okay. You're going to have this, especially this is Luke's skis, so he's doing the park stuff. But you see how you have these little scores? And you want to, you know, maintain that so you can keep the skis going for a long time. So this base material is plastic. I don't know exactly what kind of plastic, but it's plastic. And you can purchase the plastic in what they call PTEX, which is these little um, glue stick looking things. They actually do make a professional gun that you can put the stick in and it'll melt it like it is. So but we're gonna do it the cheap way. So you can get these on eBay, anywhere you want, uh, super cheap. You only pay a couple bucks for them. So the first thing that we're gonna do is if it's a big hole, I don't really have anything right here, but if it's a big hole, you're gonna wanna cut out any of the loose material that's just sort of shredded off of there. We've got the black, comes in all different colors. So we'll start with that. Then I'm going to use my acetone that I love, um, and I'm just going to clean out the area with acetone just to get any wax residue or anything off of there so that uh, it melts into there good. So that's good enough. All right, then uh, next step, normally it would be nice if you had a little plumber's torch. Um, that would heat it up a lot quicker, but I don't have one right now, so I'm just going to use a candle. And I'm going to heat this plastic up until it starts burning on its own. And you'll pull away from it. You'll, when it's hot enough, it'll actually start being its own candle. There we go. I don't want to blow it out here. So it's not ready yet, but you see when it's ready, it will start to drop. You see it? All right, then you're gonna drop that into the crack. Now you'll see a little bump there. That's actually the carbon that's uh, being burnt, um, when, that by the flame burning the stick and the carbon. If you had a blowtorch or a plumber's torch, it would, um, it would burn hotter and it, you wouldn't have that, but this will still work. So you're just gonna go along that seam and fill that in just kind of you know if you're using putty or anything like that you're going to go thicker than you need to just so you don't really see the indent in there anymore all right we might need to go back and do this a second time but that looks pretty good okay put that out now we're going to let that dry cool down if you would all right last step here is you're going to get a scraper this happens to be a wax scraper if you've got a if you're a carpenter you got a cabinet scraper any sort of metal edge that you know is flat um, you're just going to take that and you're going to remove the excess p-tex off of it if you get it if you if you get it you know don't let it totally cool down it's a little easier to work the material if it's still warm. And you'll see it's just going to start disappearing. We've got this little piece here. Whichever way you're more comfortable. That's it. Now, I don't, this, you can still see a little, where I did a little bit of uh, over drip, if you would. So you can just keep working that until it totally disappears, and it will. 
see that house disappearing? Now it's, uh, I could work on that. And if I, <laughs> you know, sometimes I get a little fussy with this, but I could pretty much make that disappear if I really wanted to. Or next time you get this sharpened and waxed um, at the store, you know, that's going to be totally gone. Um, so that's it. Now, if you're really fussy, you could uh, grab some wax and put some wax over that area. But uh, that'll save you probably 20 bucks um, if you're going to get your skis sharpened and they check off the box that says, uh, you know, fill holes with P-Tex. It's usually an extra $15, $20 to do that, but you can do it on your own.